3 and today I'm going to show you how you can reboot your server super fast without having to wait for us. So here's how you do it. Um, I'm, I'm, just to demonstrate this, I'm showing a server that's stopped. If you ever see this server in a number, you can simply click on it and hit start and it'll start back up and hit reconnect. But because I'm showing you this demo, um, it's off. In any case, to reboot the server to a rebooted state, um, it's very simple. You get on your cloud drive, you click on this plus, you say new text file, and then you type reboot.me, and you get rid of the end where it says .md. So it just says reboot.me. Then you hit enter, and you can see the file gets created here. When that file gets created um, on the server, every two minutes it pulls looking for that file. And if it finds it, it says I need to reboot, so it reboots your machine. Now, be careful because you don't want to reboot your machine willy-nilly over and over and over because every time you do, uh, we get an email and an alert. And, um, and you also will get a copy of the email with the account that you uh, signed up for. So the email comes out or the file disappears. That's when you know the reboot process started. So like I said, this happens every two minutes. And we'll just do a, a quick refresh to see if it's still there, and it is. Um, at the end of the two minutes, when that thing reboots, um, you're going to get a message saying that uh, it's been rebooted. And in this case, I just got the, the alert. So it's been, it got the message, hit refresh, and it's gone. So the reboot process has started. When that happens, it takes... Uh, it takes Windows probably three to four minutes to reboot fully. Then it takes DCS probably a two to three minutes to start. And then it takes another two minutes to load your mission. So that's almost 10 minutes. So think about it like this. Once this file disappears, your file, your, your uh, server is going to be up within 10 minutes. If it's not, then you definitely want to contact us, but it will be. Uh, and I'm watching this server reboot on the other end right now, and it's in the process of rebooting. Um, in fact, I can even show this to you. Let me pull this over here so you can see it. Okay, so it's rebooting. And um, DCS is starting. Hasn't even started yet. You can see we do some stuff in the in the background here. And all the, you know, the scripts run that uh, keeps the server clean and ready to roll. And our start scripts have a 20-second pause uh, so it can catch up in, to all the commands we feed it. <laughs> and then it, once that's finished, it fires up DCS. And you'll see what, when, what happens when the environment starts here in just a second. So you can see this takes a little bit of time. You can't expect once that file disappears, your server's back up. And this is just due to the nature of Windows and DCS. Um, as you know, our servers are all pretty fast. If you, In fact, they're probably faster than your home machines. They're, um, they all have NVMe drives, they all have Epic processors, and um, they run extremely fast. So there we go. Uh, it finished its pa it was pause. It fired up the environment. You could see um, SRS popped up. You could see that the web GUI popped up. Um, you'll see at the bottom here when DCS starts, there it goes. And it takes a while to start. And you, you, you can watch this. You, you guys have seen this when you start your client. That was pretty quick. Um, you see the green there? When that green turns blue, you know it's ready to load the mission. At this point, it's still handshaking back with ED servers. And um, now it's blue. So now it's handshaking. And it's starting the mission. And I can show you what that mission start looks like here. Under performance, this is what it looks like. It's, it's um, starting the mission. If we look here under memory, you can see the memory. It starts here and slowly creeps up as it loads that mission and map. And that could take a few minutes. Uh, but when it's finished, the server's up and running. And what they'll look like on your end, and I'll just close this, uh, this will be gone. You come into your dashboard. Your, uh, oops, that's not the right one. Come into your dashboard and hit refresh. And there you can see that you have the title, so that means it's up and running. If you click on it, and it's, it's still loading. And by the way, if you see this screen, um, it takes him, this is still loading the mission. So if you see where it says DCS server and it does 16 users and there's no IP address, you know it's still loading. So just let it go. Keep waiting. Be patient. It's hard to do, I know. But um, 
when it's up and running, it's it's uh, you know this is just the nature of way DCS works. And there you see servers active, servers paused. It loaded in all the stuff. Once I get down here and I see the observer, now I can go ahead and start making changes to this screen. And now you're ready to roll. You're back up and running. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.